So good morning, everyone. Um, ladies, gentlemen, and esteemed panel of judges. We are Elemental Agency, and we are here representing our client, Burnett Middle School. So Burnett Middle School has been established as an international baccalaureate program since 1999, and it has been educating students to be world leaders ever since then. Um, here at this school, uh, students are encouraged to be engaged in the classroom because of their unique uh, grading skills, um, as well as the opportunity for rewards when students meet or exceed their own expectations. Unfortunately, Burnett has not the best reputation, so they're in desperate need of a new one. With our photography-driven campaign, we will ensure that Burnett Middle School's reputation will be established as a reputable international institution that educates students both inside and outside of the classroom. Our agency really values diversity, inclusivity, and representation when creating campaigns. My name is Salvador Grola, and I'm the account manager. I'm Albert Arnhem, I'm one of the account planners. My name is Hakima Payne, and I'm part of our creative my name is Yulai, I'm a NADA calculator. My name is Robert, I'm part of the community. And together, we have uh, kind of used our own unique uh, life experiences to create a campaign that's a very fresh and new look to public education advertising in general. Um, with our campaign, we are really focusing on emotion and aspirations for the future, so that way we can uh, highlight students' successes while still having a connection with the audience through this feeling of hope and growth within the community. So one of the main challenges that Burnett currently faces is its reputation, like Salvador said. It is a great school, we know that from our research, from talking to some of you guys, as well as visiting the school. Um, however, people don't really know that, and so we want to change that reputation. Um, one of the first things that we want to do is proposing a, na a name change to the school, changing it to Burnett World School. Also, like um, we talked about earlier in the semester, we want to get that enrollment up because that's very important various other things. And overall, we really want to change our reputation of Burnett Middle School. So a little bit more about Burnett Middle School. It's located in the heart of North San Jose, right outside of Japantown, not too far from here. It is an Ivy Middle School, and it's the only Ivy Middle School in San Jose, which does give it sort of an advantage over its competition. But keep in mind that San Jose Unified School District is, an, is a school choice, has a school choice policy, meaning that students from any district, no matter if they live in South San Jose, if Little John is from South San Jose wants to go to Burnett, be a Burnett Bear because he doesn't want to be one. He can do that. Um, his parents can allow, or can enroll him at Burnett. Doesn't matter where he lives. So just keep that in mind. Um, Burnett prides itself on its diversity as well as its diverse array of activities for its students and its technology that they implement into their curriculum. Now I'm talking about finding the new site. So after we did the survey, which includes online survey and uh, focus group with current Burnett students and parents as well as parents who are looking for school for their children, we found that Burnett Middle School already stands out from the competition. And Burnett Middle School is inclusive and welcome students from all origins. And second, the, they have a variety of elective classes, so which provides many opportunities for students to discover their passion through sports, club and the lesson. And finally, there's a big Latino community living near the school, which can be used as an advantage for international study through a diploma. And our target would be any uh, all parents, and for example, the parents who have an adopted kid, and also Japanese more family, and of course, Latino family who has lived in South Bay for a long time. Um, as well, just additionally to it, we really focus on uh, kind of narrowing down who our target audience would be, uh, because we really want to take the most advantage of this six-month campaign, correct? So um, there's a possibility for other campaigns where we could target other parts of the community as well, but we really wanted to narrow in the whole um, inclusivity and diversity of our campaign. So our big idea uh, focuses on using the color green, not just because it's Burnett Middle School's color, but also because it shows uh, a feeling of hope and growth within the community. Uh, we want to showcase students' uh, successes um, here at Burnett, but we really want to 
kind of like get that emotional connection so that parents can really feel like their kids will go somewhere. So our creative strategy is to use our slogan, Building a Better Blank. This allows for any sort of audience member to really input their own ideas, goals, expectations, and dreams for the future more than anything. Um, especially for students. Um, when we've shown this to um, different focus groups and when we went to the anniversary event, uh, we got a lot of great feedback from everyone there. And I even actually saw some Burnett students with their parents like filling in the blank. Like, what do you want to do when you grow up? So we really like felt that that narrowed down the point. Um, the, actual words that we use in our campaign collateral are all focused on how the IB profile can help students develop into their own personal um, hero, essentially. Um, finally, we want to, like we said, we want to target elementary school parents during their day-to-day -day routine. So we really focus on um, keeping it local and narrowing it down to specific communities, as you guys will see soon. Okay, so moving on to our creative um, aspect of our campaign, our mantra right here, building a better team in English and in Japanese. Um, we plan to do advertise around Japan town as well, as stated. So we have this little ad right here and um, our other ad. Um, so we're just focusing on the inclusivity again and the acceptance um, of the San Jose community. So this is an example of a mall ad, so an interactive a rotating mall ad, and basically it will be it's the three in one. And the first ad kind of creates crowds really help because it compares to the second part is building a better blank. We fill in with leader, makes a statement, and the third is the question: What are you building? And this parents know what what they want for their child. And we really focused on doing like uh, the ball because we want to focus on activities that families do together. So when you go to the mall on a Sunday or school shopping or something like that, then we want them to see this as a family and both have the reactions from parents and students. We want the student to want to go to Burnett. We don't want the parent to tell the student, we want the student to tell the parent. And this is a BTA bus stop ad. And again, the example shown is both English and Spanish. So this is targeted for people that for people or families that don't necessarily have transportation. So this is for them. When they're waiting, they can see the ad. You know, it's, it, it gives them a, an idea of what they want best for their, for their, for their own kids. And this is another example. It's a bus ad. And this one is kind of more, um, it's more intimate because buses are always going in and out of lanes. So when the bus stops at a red light and a family is behind the bus, the first thing they'll see is, what are you building? It gives them a list of all the opportunities for it has to offer. And, and also moving on, we chose to advertise in a grocery store, a local grocery store specifically, like Mi Pueblo and the little grocery stores in Japan town. Again, going with our inclusivity, we wanted to make it things in uh, our campaign in different languages so everyone can notice like, what's going on. Opportunity to be reused for the next five years. 
Um, the design is there, so all that we just need to do is change pictures, change the language, um, and really make sure that that narrows down to tell specific audiences. Um, one example, as you can see right here, is like the malls of uh, Route 66 bus, uh, carpertizing, and the online presence. Our campaign B would be, let's just say, the bus stops or with the um, online presence. Or we could do a campaign C, which has like the mall focusing on family activities as well as the online presence. What we're really trying to narrow down to here is that you guys can really decide what to do with this campaign. We have just given all of the proper tools for Burnett Middle School to design a campaign that is going to benefit them the most. And things change as enrollment rates increase, then we can maybe like add more to that, or maybe you can do campaign A. So we're really just trying to narrow down the idea that as Burnett Middle School, we can build the perfect campaign and budget. Finally, we're, with our campaign, we're just trying to showcase that Burnett Middle School students are really working, not just students, honestly, like the staff members really uh, create a big impact on the students, so they're creating a better world, hence the name. They're creating better humans. We just want to showcase that together with this sense of hope and aspiration for the future, we can create a better community here in San Jose and hopefully in the world as well. Thank you very much. We had a, a, a group member right here who's an exchange student. <laughs> <laughs> it was like right there. <laughs> I was like, hey, what's happening? Like I was mentioning, uh, you guys touch uh, human, very important diversity, minority, culture, family, and community. So, uh, I think that that opens to uh, more alternatives, right? 
but I'm very curious. I like a lot the uh, growth target, the one that they have. Yeah, that's very, very important. But I noticed that you have in the three different alternatives. Do you guys think that this is the most important way to go? Uh, okay, I'll answer. Um, we I like it. I like yeah, it. I think right now this generation of parents that's going to be enrolling, I think that's really what we want to be uh -huh. it's online. Um, there are other ways like the outside, the outdoor advertising, which is really important, and it's also the word of mouth, which is, is online. But I just think that's really what we want to do. They want to know about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And the best way if they know about is Google. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But and I can say that. 50% of that search, maybe it's not true, mm -hmm. right? So here, basically, you go to the right yeah. through information. Right. right. Is it doesn't really, Burnett doesn't currently have an online presence, so someone could post negative reviews on grade school, but it has nothing really but a website to defend itself. So it's about leveling the playing field, mm -hmm. and Burnett, Burnett saying, hey, this is what we have to offer, you know? So uh, that's why we felt There's going to be younger and younger parents that are going to be enrolling their kids at Burnett. So those parents are going to be more technologically driven than maybe those from five years ago. So we're really kind of like narrowing it to the future, right? Like we're seeing ahead and seeing where maybe like we will have kids eventually and we will be looking online and on Facebook and on Instagram and those kind of things. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thank we'll you. Look to you. Later.